Hey guys, CJ here, and wow, so the big news coming out today is that Martin Freeman, of course, Bilbo Baggins in The Hobbit, Lester Nygaard in Fargo, and, you know, of course, John Watson in Sherlock, has been cast in an unknown role for Captain America Civil War. And now, this is absolutely fantastic. I mean, Marvel continues to bring in quality actors, but the big question on everyone's minds is, who's he gonna play? With his relatively diminutive stature and his typically meek roles, he doesn't really fit the build of a traditional superhero, which makes casting him, fan casting I guess you could say, it's it's all the harder. But I've done my research and I've come up with my top five characters that Martin Freeman could be playing in Captain America's Civil War. So let's get started. Now actually before we start, I want to go through an honorable mention here, and this one is for you Oscar, I know you're, you're listening to this because I've just sent you the link, but his theory was Bob, Agent of Hydra. And as great as this would be to see, I really hope we get Bob on screen at some point. I rule it out for several reasons. The biggest being Marvel doesn't have Deadpool, and Bob is very much connected to Deadpool. I don't see them doing Bob without Deadpool. So that's my biggest write-off. Plus, I kind of like the rumor floating around that Bob was the infamous Galaga shield agent from Avengers 1. I I still, I like to, I want to believe that, that that's the truth. So with that out of the way, let's really get started. Now, coming in at number five is the very nebulous role of a pro-registration politician. You know, pencil it in, whether it's a senator, a congressman. Uh, this is a little bit of a cheat. I'm saying, you know, it's very nebulous. I'm not saying a specific character, but I think this is the pretty likely solution. I mean, Freeman, he always re appears very formal, very respectful, very polite. I think he would play well as, you know, a politician. Maybe even the president as Civil War unfolds. That's not out of, you know, the realm of possibility for him. I just think this is a little bit of a boring role for an actor of his stature. I mean, it's a relatively small one for someone so big. And, I mean, he is big now. He's he's one of the most sought-after actors in Hollywood, especially after Sherlock, uh, but most recently after Fargo, which is just fantastic. Highly recommend it. However, this pick remains what I'll call smart money. It's a safe bet. If you're betting on this, I don't know why you would be, but if you are. And coming in at number four, Wong. Now, this is a little bit of a joke, so before you come at me in the comments about whitewashing an Asian character, I, I, we need more Asian characters in comic book movies. Yes, yes we do. But this is a joke. Because I'm sure the joke writes itself. If any of you have seen Sherlock, you get it. But this is referential of the fact that if he was to play Wong, he would be an assistant to Doctor Strange, reuniting him with his famed Sherlock co-star Benedict Cumberbatch in essentially the same role that he plays in Sherlock. So, you know, silly British names aside, I think I, I think it would be great to see this happen. And I, the possibility, I don't think we, we're we going to get Doctor Strange in Civil War, although it's very likely that he could show up. Uh, we could definitely have him as Wong in there. But I really don't think they go with that. I've been hearing rumors about who else might be playing Wong, and I really would like them to go away from the Sherlock thing as much as I like Sherlock. Um, I'd really like to see them, you know, explore some new territory with Benedict Cumberbatch, get into the real, the meat of the darkness of Doctor Strange. So, I will still be dreaming about this, though. MCU Sherlock. Now, standing in at number three is Captain Britain. And if the other two were a little low, on the low side for an actor of his stature and caliber, this one might be a, a tall order, literally. I mean, Captain Britain, a.k.a. Brian Braddock, is, of course, the defender of the United Kingdom, imbued with the power of strength, speed, and flight, as well as the ability to create force fields and shoot energy beams. Now, apart from that, why can't I see this happening? Because our buddy Captain Britain is massive. He's six foot six, 250 pounds, and Martin Freeman is... He's not. Uh, he could bulk up a little, but he's not going to get taller without stilts. Um, so this might be a little bit out of his wheelhouse, but he's a great actor. I mean, if they wanted to change up the physical side of the character, I could see them doing that. And I would love to see Brian Braddock on the big screen. A um, little bit of alliteration there for you. But I would love to see it happen. So I, I could see this them making this happen, and I would be completely all right with them stretching it. Now, the penultimate choice, the number two, is Speedball. Though we had heard rumors... That Cabin, of the, that Cabin in the Woods' beloved stoner Fran Kranz would be playing the role of Robbie Baldwin on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Nothing on that front has been heard of since November. We haven't heard anything about that. Um, and with Kranz campaigning to play Link in the Netflix Legend of Zelda series, it's entirely possible he was just stumping for an MCU role. This, however, would make a little more sense for Freeman, because Freeman, though he's older than Baldwin is supposed to be in the comics, he's still he's very boyish. He's got a boyish look. 
usually plays kind of boyish characters sometimes, he could bring the happy-go-lucky hero to life. And now for the biggest reach of the video, what I'm going to call semi-solid evidence. Uh, the press release announcing his to-be-announced role in Civil War cited that Marvel was impressed with Martin's range from the dramatic to the comedic. And, you know, Robbie Baldwin's shift from speedball to penance would certainly run that range in one movie. And, you know, I've got to hope that speedball is going to be in there anyways. But So, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please. Finally, at number one, Everett Ross. And I'm not mispronouncing the name of the SourceFed host. Everett Ross is a comic book character. He is a State Department expert on Wakanda. Specifically in the client storyline, he was assigned to T'Challa. He had to escort him around New York City, and he was caught in the middle when supervillains started coming after the king. Now, we all know that Black Panther's kingdom will appear in the film. Black Panther himself will appear in the film. However, rumors have been swirling that Bozeman's Black Panther role in Civil War would likely just be very political. And one rumor I've heard suggests that he might not even suit up in the movie at all. And that makes the kind of Freeman as Ross role a little more believable. I mean, if he's coming to the UN or to SHIELD headquarters or, you know, something like that, to some sort of summit uh, about pro-registration or something, you know, with Wakanda in the background in the movie, I could see Freeman playing the role of essentially his attache, him him guiding him around New York City, kind of in, a, in what would be a smaller role, but would still be a, a place for him to shine uh, very comedically. And it's that role, the neurotic, almost an everyman Ross. He's stuck in the middle in this world of superheroes and this superhero war. Uh, that would, I think, Freeman would fit perfectly there. So that's my list. What role do you want to see Martin take on in the MCU? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time. Oh, hey. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you just saw. I don't know what exactly you just saw, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you really did like it, go check out our other stuff. You know, we have social media, Facebook, Twitter. The link should be somewhere here. Also, we have other channels too. We have our movie video game channel. We have our music channel. Obviously, our comic book channel too, because we know we do all that entertainment awesomeness. We also have a website. Go to our website, hybridnetworkyt.com. And check out our other videos. Uh, that's all I really have to say. It's Josh, and you know I hope you guys enjoyed you know what you watched.